the European energy consumption nowadays, only 20% is electricity, 31% is transport, and from about 50% of heating and cooling, about 80% of these uses refer to temperatures below 250 Celsius. These can easily be provided by current solar thermal systems. This means that actually heat is half. Half of the total energy needs are heat and not electricity. This is also what we can see here in this distribution where we see that thermal applications represent 51% of the world energy consumption and currently only 10% of these are with renewable energy. In terms of transport, it represents 32% and only 3.3% of those uses renewable energy, while power, electricity, represents 17% of the world energy consumption. And here we have a higher chair. 26.4% is already coming from renewable electricity. Nevertheless, one important message is heat is half. In a future energy consumption, solar will play a major role. Both solar thermal, supplying heat, and solar power, PV and solar thermal generation. In 2100, solar will be the most important renewable energy source. Wind, biomass, hydro, electricity will continue to be important, but solar will have the major share. Moreover, it's also important to notice that still today, there are subsidies for the usage of fossil fuels, either in the form of new infrastructures or in the form of direct subsidies. And here we can see the countries which have the highest amount of subsidies per capita. Globally, in 2015, it is estimated that sus subsidies to fossil fuels reached 300 billions of US dollars. And this value is about the double of the support that it was given to renewable power generation. In terms of the market for solar thermal, in 2016, it was about 456 gigawatt thermal in the world with glazed collectors having the highest share and followed by unglazed collectors. Here is the total capacity installed in the world with China leading by a far distance with uh, 27 gigawatt thermal, followed by Turkey, Brazil, India, United States, and then Germany and Australia. In pink, we can see glazed flat plate collectors. And all in all, China has about two thirds of the market in solar thermal. In China, the main collector used was evac evacuated tube collectors, while in Europe, the main collector has been glazed flat plate collectors.